I think what people want to know is that, is there a new day? And, and they question that because what we go through, we can tend to allow what we've been through in the past to start dictating and really erode in our faith and begin to get to a place of, well, I got to protect myself from disappointment, so I'm just not going to expect anything. And I think that's totally contrary to God's word. Faith, you know, which is what we are called. We're people of faith, right? We're supposed to believe for things that we don't see yet, but we got to be convinced of them. And so I think New Day was that prod to people to say, a little nudge like, hey, I know last year wasn't probably what you wanted it, but I think, you know, put your faith out there because the creator of the universe and the creator of opportunity has new things in store for you. And there's scripture to back that up. You know, the Bible says, behold, I make all things new. What part of your story, what part of your circumstances is not included in the all things new? And I think that's the question. So I, I, I kind of think it's a little bit of permission to people to say, oh yeah, let me think differently about this. Although last year was terrible, God can restore and make up for all that I lost last year. Some people who are walking through the darkest moments of their life right now, the end of something, um, don't even know they're about to embark on the beginning of something brand new and greater. Losing a spouse, um, it, I walked through the desert. Uh, you know, it wasn't like, oh, boom, the new day hit me right away. No, it was, all right, I gotta release my faith and I gotta be convinced. You know, faith is a substance of things we hope for. Uh, the, conviction of things not seen i gotta be convinced that though i don't see it yet it's on its way there is a new day but you have to connect yourself with faith being convinced of god's goodness when things are really bad